entrance hymn is Make Me a Channel of Your Peace. Make me a channel of your peace. With this hatred, let me bring your love. With this injury, your pardon, Lord. And with this doubt, true faith in you. Oh, master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love with all my soul. Oh, make me a channel of your peace. With this despair in life, let me bring hope. With this darkness, only light. And with this sadness, ever joy. Oh, Master, grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand. To be loved as to love with all my soul. Oh, make me a channel of your peace. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. In giving to all men that we receive. And in dying that we're born to eternal life. So good evening dear brothers and sisters and welcome to join me in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We never imagined that in this way we would be meeting each other but it's God's providence and we have the facility of internet that we can meet online. It's a great privilege. And let us remember to pray for those, all the uh, OFS fraternities in New Zealand and we remember those who are sick, those who are suffering, and remember those who have passed away. Especially we remember husband of Wendy, that is Clive, who passed away on 29th of October. We pray that God, our loving Father, may pardon and forgive all his sins and bless him with eternal happiness and comfort and consolation to the bereaved family and friends. May his soul and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, we are called to trust, especially to God, and build our relationship amidst us, so that we can able to live as brothers and sisters. There are times we have trusted the material things more than God and our brothers and sisters. Let us acknowledge all those moments and prepare ourselves for the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. So today we celebrate the memorial of St. Joseph, Bishop and Martyr. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled St. Joseph as he laid down his life for the sheep, so that through his intercession, we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for our brothers and sisters, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom All men were by nature foolish, who were in ignorance of God, and who from the good things seen did not succeed in knowing him who is, and from studying the works did not discern the artisan. But either fire, or wind, or the swift air, or the current of the stars, or the mighty water, or the luminaries of heaven, the governors of the world, they considered gods. Now, if out of joy in their beauty they thought them gods, let them know how far more excellent is the Lord than these. For the original source of beauty fashioned them, or if they were struck by their might and energy, let them from these things realize how much more powerful is he who made them. For from the greatness and the beauty of created things, their original author by analogy is seen. But yet, for these the blame is less, for they indeed have gone astray perhaps, though they seek God and wish to find him. For they search busily among his works, but are distracted by what they see, because the things seen are fair. But again, not even these are pardonable. For if they so far succeeded in knowledge that they could speculate about the world, how did they not more quickly find its Lord? The Word of the Lord Thanks be to God. At the psalm, let our response be, The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Kindly repeat, The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims His handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Response The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Not a word, nor a discourse, whose voice is not heard, through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Response The heavens proclaim the glory of God. Alleluia. your heads and see your attention is near at hand alleluia 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 the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you lord, lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in Noah's days, so will it also be in the days of the Son of Man. People were eating and drinking, marrying wives and husbands. Right up to the days Noah went into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. It will be the same as it was in the Lord's day, People were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But the day 
Lot left Sodom, God rained fire and brimstone from heaven, and it destroyed them all. It will be the same when the day comes for the Son of Man to be revealed. When that day comes, anyone who on the housetops with his possessions in the house must not come down to collect them, nor must anyone on the field turn back either. Remember Lord's wife. Anyone who tries to preserve his life will lose it, and anyone who loses it will and anyone who loses it will keep it safe. I tell you, on that night two will be in one bed, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding corn together, one will be taken the other left. The disciples interrupted, Where the Lord? They asked. He said, Where the body is, there too will the vultures gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, God protects those who trust in him and never lets them down. Saying about to uh, trust, it takes away anxiety, fears, worries, and grants us comfort, calmness in our mind, and peace in our heart. And this is very important for our growth as the children of God, for every anxiety puts pressure in us and disturbs our comfort. Fear makes us restless and confuses us in our thought process, and we panic, and we fail to come into the right answer. Worries take away peace of mind, and we, are, we become tense and fidgeting. And thus, it is important that we cultivate trust. You know, today we are celebrating the feast of St. Joseph, uh, St. Joseph, who died in the 17th century, born in Ukraine Orthodox parents, made matters worse when he united the Ruthenian Church into communion with the Catholic Rome while preserving its own liturgy, that is, Byzantine Rite. Because some wanted to remain orthodox and in the orbit of Moscow and Constantinople, while others accepted unit, union. This disunity led the demise of the martyrdom of Bishop St. Joseph by the mob. The world continues to fascinate by the world and its creation, and they are wrapped in it. We need to rapture the, this fascination of the creation and recognize the Creator. The Book of Wisdom reminds us the same to the people of that time who got lost in the beauty of the creation. And they imagine this creation or the beauty itself is the, or the creation itself is the thing. And they worship the nature. But God is beyond this. He is the beauty of the beauties. He is the perfect one. He is the point of the creation. And He is everything. Omega and Alpha. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us go beyond the crea uh, created things and look into the eyes of the Creator who is beauty itself. That's what John, in the first reading, telling us about the love of God. And we need to be planted in his love as brothers and sisters. So the gospel brings out beautifully about the love of God, how he looks after us, and how he wants us to be in his love, doing everything with generosity and compassion. Because once we believe, once we trust a person, 
we entrust everything without any worry or any uh, any confusion or fear but we trust in the person and we allow the person the responsibility to fulfill by himself or herself so in the same way when we entrust ourselves totally into the trust of god which is surround us in his love he will never fail us he will never fail us and he will raise us up into the eternal happiness let us be counted among the people whom during the struggle or during the time of suffering and death we will be found ourselves in the sight of god may this celebration give us a strength and courage build our trust in him help us to love him beyond this created things amen our response will be graciously hear us o lord kindly repeat graciously hear us o lord for the church that we walk together in the journey that pope francis is calling us to through the synod listening to one another and seeking to hear what the holy spirit is asking of the church let us pray to the lord graciously hear us o lord for our country's national and local leaders that they act with wisdom and strive to act for the good of society and the good of our common home we pray to the lord graciously hear us o lord for people those imprisoned without trial and political prisoners that they will be treated with dignity freed from violence and that those who have committed no crime have their freedom restored we pray to the lord graciously hear us o lord for people discriminated against who suffer because of their race religion or gender that we try to make our society a more just place to live where all are valued we pray to the lord graciously hear us o lord for ourselves that we give thanks for people who are different race or religion to me and that i try to recognize the face of jesus christ in every person i meet let us pray graciously hear us o lord for the sick and deceased members of our north shore fraternity that those ailing and sick at home and in hospitals may bear their illness patiently and find healing in the lord also may those who have left this planet find favor with our lord in his heavenly kingdom let us pray to the lord graciously hear us o lord all these prayers we offer through christ our lord amen blessed are you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good the good of all his holy church. Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that Saint Joseph the prophet, by the shedding of his blood, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your beloved martyr, blessed martyr, Saint Joseph, poured out like Christ to glorify your name. Show forth your marvelous works by which in our witness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, so saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patrick and Michael, our bishops, the clergy, the religious, and the faithful. Remember also our brother, remember your servant Clive, whom you have taken away from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep or in the hope of the rising again, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles, St. Francis and Claire and St. Joseph, whom you have, who have, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed Lord be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the, the power, power and the glory are yours now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the loving Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter, enter under my roof, but only say, say the word, and my, my soul shall be healed. In the body of Christ, we can say it together.
let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Joseph's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, it is great to have you together joining me in this celebration, and good to pray for all our Franciscan fraternities especially here in New Zealand, especially the, the Third Order, the Fraternities. And this is also month of all the deceased members that we remember. So let us keep them in our mind and pray that God may bless them eternal life. And at this time, take care and keep well. And God bless you all. Thank you. Dear Father. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to the Lord. Lord. Our recessional hymn is Shepherd of My Soul. Shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I have made a choice to listen for your voice. Wherever you may lead, I will go. Be it in a quiet pasture or by a gentle stream, the shepherd of my soul is by my side. Should I face a mighty mountain or valley dark and deep, the shepherd of my soul will be my guide. Shepherd of my soul, I give you full control. Wherever you may lead, I will follow. I have made a choice to listen for your voice. Wherever you may lead, I will go. Wherever you may lead, I 